Hello everybody, today we're gonna make this shader that animates with the vertex in the shader. So what you do need is uh, this FBX file, you can download it in the, <clears throat> in the description uh, if you want, or uh, you just follow the tutorial uh, from last time, or you have your own mesh. And what's important is that you need your, uh, a mesh that has a tail that is one unit long like this and the head a little bit above the center like this so um yeah so this is forward and this is back and the most important thing is in the red channel you have a gradient from black to white like this but uh, you, if you yeah you can use your own or you just download the file in the in the description and what we're going to do with those uh, vertex color information we're going to have different uh, color on the eye and we're going to have a um, color body like this different uh, colors and also yeah another one and um, also we're going to have this um, as you see there's a swirl going on <clears throat> so you can decide how strong it is and uh, let's say we have a little bit and you, you can also decide how big this swirl amount is like this and also you can rotate it like this so this is done in the shader and the goal why we're doing this is because in the next tutorial we're going to use the unity vfx graph and we're going to make a bunch of snakes uh, crawling around and then we can control these inputs from this shader graph so let's get started so we're gonna start in an empty scene so we have the snake here we're gonna place it in the center and we're gonna make um, shader shader graph HDRP lit shader graph. And also just start, we're going to do create material. And <clears throat> we can just assign it to the snake right away. And we jump into the shader. So now we have it down here. It's easy to look at it and see. The same time so the first thing we want to do we want to um, mm, 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 mm. so the position that's what we're gonna adjust or change so if we just do it like this vertex no actually I'm um, position and we plug plug it in like this and we take the object because we, we want the um, object's um, position uh, because that's how to say it well uh, the, um, it expect you to manipulate it in the object space the way we're going to do it so if we save it like this and we move it around you see there's actually no nothing happening happening and if we do vertex color and we do a split, take the red channel into the base, you see we have this um, this gradient that I'm talk been talking about. Actually, I want the light to be a little bit better. Like it more sharp actually a little bit more smoother All right so what we're gonna do we're gonna um, use this gradient to make the um, animation so the first thing I want to do is to make um, if we take time <clears throat> and we plug it into a sign and we do an add And we plug this this one into it actually we can just have a snake over here as well
So we have it here. So what's happening is that the time we, with sine is adding between zero, uh, between negative one and one in x, i, and z. So this uh, this um, is um, going in a linear direction, adding like this. But we only, oops, we only want it. We only want it in the x direction like this, right? So we're just gonna. Um, before we add it, we're gonna make a vector free, and we just add add this value to the um, let's see <clears throat> x, and we save it. Now you see it's only going in the x direction. And if we then multiply, so if we do like this. We have um, so here's the time sine and vertex uh, the vector. So if, if we take the um, we can just copy this vertex color here, move it here, and if we take this red channel and multiply. Now you see we only um, manipulate like this. So we can actually add a swirl to this. And um, to do that we need to change the gradient in the red channel. So it's from 0 to 1, but we want, the, um, we want, want it to be from 0 to 2 pi. So the way we can do this is pretty easy. Uh, let's see, we're gonna um, We're gonna let's see first off we need so we need this um, Float up here swirl amount Because this is um, we're gonna access this from the shader outside the graph so if we just do swirl amount and multiply and two pies so 6.28 and if we then multiply so because uh, the red channel is from 0 to 1 right so if we multiply 0 to 1 with um, 6 it, it's going to be like 6.28 actually 6.28 cool and also we need to make sure that the swirl amount is uh, 1 so what we made here we actually have uh, the red channel been um, <clears throat> remapped between 0 and 6.28 but if we later would, would want to remap it to, let's say, up to 12, we just use this swirl amount and we can add it from the outside later. So if we plug this thing into the sign like this, well, yeah, we just do it like this. You see now we have this uh, swirl going on, but in order to animate it, we need to add or subtract time. So first, often you just add time, and I'm going to show you what happens in the in exactly this case. So if we add time to it, this is pretty important to notice because what's happening is it's actually going backwards. So what I mean by that, if you look at this tail, it looks like it's grabbing stuff and push it upwards. So this is the motion the uh, snake would need to do to go backwards. So in order to fix this, we should use a subtract instead. <clears throat> so if we just use a subtract like this, Now you see it, you know it going forward. So that's kind of 
important to notice and we have this now looks nice so let's say the swirl amount if we want to have more let, let's say two you see we have even more swirls or 0 0.5 we only have a really small one we're, we're gonna go for one right now so and there's another thing we also want to be able to control and we also want to be able to control the um, swirl strength so if we do a multiply and we do a float swirl <clears throat> amp like in amplitude we just plug it in now we can control the swirl maybe we just want a smaller right so that's nice and the time we could actually just multiply it multiply and do that by by four so if we multiply the time it's going to animate faster see here we have a so if you save it you can see now we're starting to get the shape that we're looking for so the other thing that we want to have is um, we want to be able to rotate the tail so there's a really nice um, function that we can use for this so when we added the rotation like this we need to add also a rotation so it's actually pretty easy rotate about axis so if we plug it in like this and save it you see it's um it actually giving an error because it's need some kind of value in the axis to rotate so if we do it in one it actually and we also do this um, value here you can see it r rotates so this is nice um, if we had made it in the x direction the rotation would have been in uh, here that you you kind of yeah you have a lot of possibilities but we're going to use the i direction because that that's upwards so you imagine you're just spinning it around a pole or something so this is what we're looking for but here we want to want it only to rotate just the tail so if we do vertex again color and we do a split and the red channel is from 0 to 1 the values we see here so if we uh, we need to do it like um, hmm so we're going to think like this what we want to do we want to use a lerp and only change the vertex position based on the red channel so if we do a lerp so if we plug in them um, let's see here This is the original value we want, right? With no rotation. And then we want to lerp with this rotation value. So if we use the red channel again to use the lerp value, this means that the black area won't um, <clears throat> rotate anything. But the more white it is, the more it's going to rotate. So then this is the um, result we get. So um, this is actually everything we need. There is one thing though I want to change because uh, we want to 
later on we want to be able to rotate this from outside the graph so we're going to add here a float again uh, rotate and also if if you have rotate and we do it slider negative one negative one and one that mean oops so zero no rotation negative one is going to be a 90 degree rotation so as you see here unit is radians so it expect the value to be radians so if the rotation value is one we want the one to represent radians and if one gonna represent uh, 90 degrees then we need to um, multiply it with a with an radiant value so if we do multiply multiply so a pi like this is a half circle but we want a half pi so it's like, like 1.57 so they, they, this is uh, roughly um, uh, one radians so if we do rotate this value of one and we multiply it with 1.57 and we look from the above you see this is 90 degree turn and of course if you get negative one it's the other way around now if you later in the graph in the shader graph no i mean in the vfx graph we want the negative one to be to the left and we want one to be to the right so then we just need to change the direction to not going upwards but downwards so now the negative one input going to represent the tail go to the left so this is nice and the last thing we want to do is to make the color and it's pretty easy and um, <clears throat> So we need a color, and that's an eye. Actually, we do color eye, color body one. We do another one, color, color body two, like this. So the first thing we're going to do is to control the body and. We're going to use the green channel to do a lerp so if we just remove this part and we do a lerp so we have two colors that we want to lerp so let's set the colors this one will be a red color this one will be a purplish color so the way to lerp with these we're going to use the green channel uh, the green has um, noise in it as you can, if you want to see it more, you can look in the last tutorial. And if we just plug in this one in the base color, you see we have a vertex controlled color. And lastly, the eyes, we're going to change these uh, as well. We just do a lerp again. So we use the, the blue. And because of the, so if I just do like this, right? Uh, vertex color plugged into the base uh, so the, the it's only blue on on the eyes and that means that if we have blue in the input t t in the lerp that's then the color is going to be in the blue in the b input so the colors needs to be in the b and the body in the A, and we plug this one in. And yeah, and the blue vertex blue channel into the here. And now we have it. So this is um, everything. So let's just clean it up a bit. So see so 
So here we have the vertex color, the red channel, set to the lerp with the rotate. And uh, so let's see. And this is the rotate multiplied with the radian into the rotate. And we have here, so in this part, we have the red channel is from 0 to 1, and we remap it from 0 to 68 here. But we also can uh, multiply that with the swell amount. We also have the time here that goes in here, and we subtract it to have the swirl going backwards. And the swirl amp here to make how big this shape is going to be. So we have them all here exposed. So if we save it, and we do look at the snake. So here we have it, the colors and um, the rotate like this, swirl amount. So yeah, here you have it. <clears throat> so I really hope you liked it. In the next tutorial, we're gonna make this uh, a lot of snakes moving around in a particle system and yeah it's gonna be fun i really hope you liked it thank you so much